Multiplication is the most joyous thing of mental math. With mental multiplication, you can avoid wasting a lot of time in your test. But before we actually move on to complex multiplication mentally, we would just uh, do some basics. And the only prerequisite I expect you to know is that you should know all your tables from 1 to 10. That's just it. I don't expect you to know from uh, 11 to 20 because you can calculate it mentally once you know the mental multiplication tricks. These tricks were uh, discovered or invented by... Uh, the, the, uh, these tricks are still persistent and they were discovered from the Vedic times. And uh, these tricks are just fabulous. Uh, the, we'll start with some 2 by 1 multiplication. And by 2 by 1 I mean by a, a 2 digit number times a 1 digit number. Right? Let me start. Let me multiply 35 times 3. And if you can figure that in your head, then you could actually uh, you could actually start by 3 by 1 multiplication. But if you did uh, the right to left way, that is, if you did it like this, right? If you did it like 5 times 3 is 15, and I carry a 1, and I do 3 times 3, 9, and this is 105. If you did it that way, then wait, wait, wait. I have an even better method for you with which you can do uh, uh, very rapid mental multiplications. Uh, like addition, we consider 35 in this case as being 30 plus 5. And now I multiply it by 3, so it will be 90 plus 15 and it would be 105. This way is a lot, lot, lot more quicker way. But uh, you'll argue with me, right? Who would go, who is going to split this and then add it and all that stuff? But uh, it's, uh, there is a different way to perceive how we do this. You do the same thing essentially. Let me do it unite here, 35 times 3. You do the same thing, but and remember the left to right rule. You do, you, do melt, you multiply from left to right and now while you're multiplying you consider uh, while you're multiplying with this digit first you consider this as being zero then you you get this zero from here I just wrote it because you could you could just find out what's going on behind the scenes right uh, I do 3 times 30 this time and it is 90 and I do 3 times 5 which is 15 and now 90 plus 15 all of a sudden doesn't involve this breaking down step it just involves multiplying from left to right and this my friends is a really really quick method let me do uh, uh, all right let me do it 105 let me do a complex one a little bit complex one I mean let me do 91 times 8 a bit complex uh, what is 91 times 8? 91 times 8. Uh, you multiply 8 times the 90 to get 720 and add the 8, right? Nine, 8 times 1 is 8 and you get 728. With this type of multiplication, you you know, need no intermediate results. You could just write down the final result uh, as a result of calculation in your head. Let me do some more. Let me do 55 times 9. 55 times 9 and let me and let me actually uh, uh let me actually uh, speak it loud how i calculate in my head so that you get uh, the brain flow and how your brain should flow so okay here we go. 55 times 9. 55 times 9. I do 9 times 50. 9 times 50. 450. 450 plus. 450 plus. I hope you got it. 45. 450 plus 45 is 495. And I, I, I took a lot of time. But it's not as as, as tedious as this. It, it's really quick. And uh, let me do one more. And, and by now you should also try it with me. Uh, I think you get the trick. It's 180 plus 6. 186. And you could actually say the answer. Right? You could say. A nine, uh, while, while you do 90 times 2. You could already. You can already say 180. And then calculate. Uh, 3 times 2. Which is 6. So 186. Right? The, the, you can actually say the answer as you begin. What is 30 times time 2? 33 times 2. It's just 66. What is 85 times 7? 85 times 7 is 560 plus 35, 560 plus 595. And uh, I, I encourage you to, to, to do a bunch of these. Make up your own problems. Act, practice at least 50 of 2 by 1s. I really, really encourage you to practice at least 50, 50 of them. And once you have done, uh, once you are done practicing the 50, uh, meet me. Uh, pause this video right now and once you have done practicing 50, meet me here. And I am going to start with some 3 by 1s now.
right uh, where are some three by ones I'll do um, let me do a simple one let me do 109 times 7 109 times 7 now this time let me explain you what I'm going to do I'll break down 100 into 100 109 into 100 plus 9 and then I multiply it by 7 to get 700 plus 63 uh, which, I which is 763 this time uh, while and how we perceive it we perceive it at 109 times 7 you multiply this by a hundred to get 700 you just ignore this because 0 times anything is 0 and you add this which is 63 so you can say your answer while you do this step right here you can say 700 and do 9 times uh, 7 in your head to get 63 and the answer is 763 alright it's not difficult right it, I hope you don't find it difficult. Let me do 125 multiplied by 8. 125 multiplied by 8. Now notice we don't have 0 right here, so we need to count it, uh, uh, count the 20 also. How I'm going to split it? It's 100 plus 20 plus 5, right? Not 100 times 25. It's 100 times 20 plus 5. So then how we are going to perceive it? It's 125 times 8. Let me ch change colors. All right, I'll do 8 times 100 to get 800. Then I'll do 8 times 20 to get 160. And then I'll do 8 times 5 to get 40. And I do uh, the addition the r left to right way. And I, in fact, I see a carry coming in. And uh, this should be the answer. I hope you're getting in and uh, let's see how we can do this same problem mentally you do uh, 125 times 8 should be 800 plus 160 800 times plus 160 is uh, 960 add that for an uh, oh god I think I made a mistake uh, let me let me let me let me do it once once more I'll do 8 8 times 100 to get 800 plus uh, plus 20 800 plus plus 160 gives me 960 960 plus 40 gives me a thousand and I think I was not wrong in fact I've made some mistake right here 960 yes 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 I have indeed made a mistake right here it's uh, zero right here and yes, in fact, I just uh, I just got confused in this uh, doing this stuff right here. I'm so sorry, but uh, but you get the point still, right? Let me do some more. If I have confused you in this last problem, let me do this. Let me do this mentally. Now I won't even show you the breakup. Um, I'll do three 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 hundred times nine to get two thousand seven hundred plus one hundred and eighty, right? Two thousand seven hundred plus one hundred and eighty. Make use of the units to get two thousand eight hundred and eighty. Two thousand eight hundred and eighty plus forty five should be two thousand nine hundred and twenty five. Right? I hope you're getting it. Let me do a last one and really, 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 really tough one, and that's the probably the toughest you can get uh, while doing three by one multiplication. Let me do seven hundred and seventy seven multiplied by eight, and I hope you can see those digits at seven. Yes, uh, let's do seven hundred and seventy seven multiplied by eight. Uh, let me split up it f for you because this is the toughest one if you can solve this then you probably are an expert at 3 by 1 multiplication alright let me begin I'll do 8 times 700 what is 8 times 700 it's 5600 perfect yes it's 5600 plus 560 plus 56 now, if I had to do this mentally, I would just add it up right here. So I'll do 5,600 plus 560. I'll do 5,600 plus 560 to get 6,160. Add 56 to it to get 6,216, I guess. Yes. That's good. 6,216. Let me write it down. 6216 perfect so I hope you get it and enjoy see you in the next video we will tackle some more multiplication problems